this video, we will discuss the reciprocals of trigonometric ratios. Before we go into trig, let's discuss what a reciprocal is. Take, for example, the number 7. Its a reciprocal function is 1 over 7. So if I multiply 7 with its reciprocal 1 over 7, I will get 1. You can also get reciprocals in fractions, for example, 2 over 3. Its reciprocal is 3 over 2. So the numerator and the denominator exchange positions. And if I multiply them with each other, I will get 1. The same counts in trigonometry. If I take sine theta, its reciprocal function is 1 over sine theta. But 1 over sine theta has a name, and we are going to call that cosec theta. So cosec of theta is the same as saying 1 over sine theta. Then we have cos theta, its reciprocal function would be 1 over cos theta, but we call 1 over cos theta sec theta. And then for tan theta, its reciprocal function is 1 over tan theta, and in mathematics we call that cot theta. So where sine was the opposite over the hypotenuse in a triangle, cosec theta would be the hypotenuse over the opposite. And for cos theta, it was adjacent over hypotenuse. Therefore, sec theta would be hypotenuse over adjacent. And for tan theta, it was opposite over adjacent. Therefore, for cot theta, it would be adjacent over the opposite. Let's make use of the special triangles for some examples. Let's find the cosec of theta, where theta is 45 degrees. So that means cosec of 45 degrees. Now remember, cosec is the reciprocal function of sine. So sine would be opposite over hypotenuse. And therefore, cosec is hypotenuse over opposite. So it is the square root of 2 over 1. And that becomes just the square root of 2. How about sec 30 times the tan of 60? Sec is the reciprocal function of cos. So if I had the cos of 30, it would be adjacent over hypotenuse. Therefore, the sec of 30 is hypotenuse, which is 2 over the adjacent. It's 2 over square root of 3. And tan of 60 is opposite over the adjacent. And I can simplify this. The square root 3's will catch each other out, and I have 2 over 1, which will become 2. Now let me show you how to work with the reciprocal functions on a calculator. So sec of 36 plus cosec of 63. If you look on your calculator, you would see there's no sec or cosec button. And the sine to the power of negative 1, or its reverse function of the calculator, is not equal to the cosec of sine. So the reverse function of sine on the calculator is not cosec of sine. 
So please be careful and don't assume that if you press shift sign that you are finding cosec. Remember, shift sign and when the calculator produces the reverse function is used to solve the angle. So here's what we do. Sec of 36 is 1 over cos of 36 degrees. And cosec of 63 is 1 over sine of 63 degrees. Then on my calculator, I would create a fraction and I say 1 over cos of 36 degrees plus 1 over the sine of 63 degrees. And that is 2.36.